before you install Visual Studio 2026, just stop. Because you actually don't need it just to start working with .NET 10. A lot of developers are confused just right now. Visual Studio 2022 doesn't officially support .NET 10, so what? There is a clean and simple way to work with .NET 10 with Visual Studio 2022 without touching Visual Studio 2026 at all. In this video, I will show you exactly how to set it up, how to create and run a .NET 10 uh, app, which is targeted to .NET 10 framework. This is the version I've got. And now I have got this download .NET 10. So I will go for installing the Windows 8 x64 and this I will now I have downloaded and I will install. Let's get back to our uh, um, file explorer where it has downloaded. So click on downloads. So I can see .NET SDK. I will come back and retry on Visual Studio 2022. Till that time, let's take a break. In the meantime, you can see that Microsoft.NET SDK 10 is getting installed. It's nearing completion. So it's all done. Successfully completed. Installation successfully completed. Let's close this. Now coming back to Visual Studio um, 2022, let us first try to get the latest version. Remembering that we have got this version 17, 14, 16. So I will go for the Visual Studio installer, which is here. And let us see what it comes to be, what are available. So update available to 17, 14, 20. Fine. Let us see the update, how it works. Now I clicked yes. So my friends, I have already successfully updated Visual Studio, updated to 17.14. I have just verified that .NET 10 SDK is indeed um, installed. Here it is, .NET 9 and .NET 10. So there's no doubt. Now, so your question here would be, how should I, why should I switch over to, you know, command line interface like Windows PowerShell or developer PowerShell or Windows command prompt? Because I found that the template, even though I am able to target .NET 10 after um, installing .NET 10 SDK and upgrading my Visual Studio 2022 community version, it does not still target within its template because template is still not embedded in 2022. So the next best option or the only option is to resort to this command line. So we'll switch over to command line again and do the rest of the stuff. But if it works, it's fine. So now restore succeeded and it is available. Let us see. Um, it is on this directory. See users debit source repos. All right. So let's see how it has been created. So I'll come back after getting into the uh, directory for that particular project that I've created through command line interface. And let's see it in, uh, uh, it uh, targets .NET 10 framework or not, or whether it can be operated with Visual Studio 2020 still or not. So guys, uh, I have browsed to my Windows directory on my Windows Explorer or File Explorer. And here is the .NET console app.cs project. Now let's open it up and I have only this 2022. So it will open. So it does, it does target .NET 10 framework. Let's try to work with this. What it shows console.write line hello world. It shows hello world or not. So it is still successful in building this hello world by printing to this um, command line hello world so our initial assessment is successful that i can still work with 2022 with dotnet 10 sdk but we'll have to do some complex projects let me come back with another project with blizzard or uh, asp.net 
and web API. And I will come back with another command. Now I have changed the right line uh, to modify it. And then I could still build and run it and it showed me the changed sentence. So it is still getting run, debugged and run or compile and run properly. And the good news is that I could also build a MVC application with command line interface and it works. And I could show you the screen. See, it renders properly with home and privacy and all uh, this uh, uh, title. And if you look at the uh, project file, it is still .NET 10. So we are successful. So I am happy to go as it is. But in the next video, if you want, I can show how to work with Visual Studio 2026. For that, I need to actually uninstall because I don't have any space on this computer. So see you till the next video. Hope you liked it. And if you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. All right. Okay, see you.